we will be talking about an interesting concept. ISIS for, was for OSI, means Open System Interconnection Model. How it can take IPv4 routes? Believe me, it is going to be one of the most interesting discussions because we will be introducing here a concept which is known as type length value. And when most of the guys, network engineer, read this, they say, what is this, right? Because this is more towards software engineering. But believe me, if you understand the why behind TLVs, it is going to be really, really mind-blowing concept, right? So what is what we are having here? We are, we, I have divided this picture into two portions. The above one is OSI, the bottom one is TCP IP, right? So first we are trying to understand that how ISIs work in OSI. And then we will try to make it how it can work in TCP IP. So first thing first, when I say, in the last class also, I, uh, I mentioned that ISIS work directly on top of data link layer. It doesn't work on top of layer three protocol. It works directly on top of data link layer. The meaning is whatever the message ISIS protocol is going to make, this message can be encapsulated into data link layer, means source MAC and destination MAC directly. It means that if I have two routers, means R1 and R2, if I enable ISIS routing protocol here, if I enable ISIS routing protocol here, right? And if this ISIS routing protocol creates a message, any message, hello message or whatever, right? And if I want to send this hello message on this interface, right? Then whatever the alien looking layer three address I have configured here, it doesn't matter. Means ISIS messages can be delivered using data link layer directly without using these addresses. Interesting. It means that ISIS protocol can write anything in its letter, which can definitely, because this router is running ISIS, so it can understand. It can write inside this that I am sending you a route which is OSI model route. The type of this route is OSI. And in OSI, it is going to understand that we have NSAP. And then you must be thinking, Mr. Vishnu, what is NSAP? In the last class I talked about NSAP is network service access point which is the name of these alien looking addresses so in osi model isis protocol was sharing nsap routes right so what we, we can say here is that in this letter of uh, uh, which is created by which protocol isis protocol i can write that right now i am sending a route which is from OSI model and it is NSAP. I can write it down, right? Then how many byte long it is? And by the way, this is 20 byte maximum. So it can write the length of this, the length of this route is 20 byte. And then it can write the actual route, whatever we are sending. Really interesting. What is this? This is the letter created by ISIS protocol. But to send this letter from here to here, we do not need this addressing. We just need source MAC address, which may be AA, and the destination MAC address. And by the way, if we have maybe any other router connected here, maybe R3, right? So this message should go to this router also if we are running ISIS here, and this router here also, right? So we need one more efficient mechanism. The source MAC address is going to be this, and the destination MAC address is going to be the multicast address. What is the meaning of multicast? Means if you want to send this message to only those hosts who can understand ISIS, maybe there is another host connected or another router connected, which is R4, and you haven't configured ISIS here. The meaning is we need to send this message to only those routers which can understand ISIS. And when you enable ISIS on, a, on any router, it is going to start listening on a special MAC address. Although maybe the MAC address of this interface is BBB, but it will start listening on another MAC address, which is known as ISIS MAC address or multicast address. It means that if I want to send this message, which is a message from R1, which it is going to say that I am sending towards you OSI, addresses which are 20 bytes in length and this is the address right 
then to send this message i need to encapsulate this message into ethernet where the source mac address is going to be aa and the destination mac address is going to be isis multicast address see how osp was, was different in osp so enjoying learning if you have reached till this point of the video i think you are enjoying learning and i just do not want to waste your time i would like to say that if you want to see this complete course this course is available on my website which is www.pitchby.com please have a look at it and along with this course there are so many other courses available if you want to start your networking journey from the beginning from the scratch or if you are a seasoned networking engineer please have a look at this website so you can see here is my website the link of this website is also available on the description area just below this video thank you so much and enjoy learning if this letter was created by ospf but because ospf is a layer 3 protocol first we need to encapsulate this message into ip please see my previous class and that is where i'm saying all the classes are interconnected if you see the second class if you don't know about the first class it is going to it is going to be a little bit difficult right so you write here source ip which may be anything and the destination ip is going to be 224.0.0.5 what is the meaning this is the multicast address multicast ip address and then you need to encapsulate it into another envelope which is your ethernet where you are going to write the source mac address which is going to be a and the destination mac address is going to be multicast address corresponding to this multicast ip address as simple as that see the difference the important point is ospf messages need ip right so that they can go from one router to another these isis messages doesn't required ip or any other layer 3 protocol because these are going right over the layer 2 addresses it means that the important piece in isis is this message right which are defining three values three things type means osi model routes right or the routes from clnp protocol connectionless network protocol which are nsap right what is the length maximum length is 20 or maybe it is less than that what is the value value is the exact value it means that in, in this letter we are writing tlb and by the way in isis they are so flexible that you can send multiple type length values <laughs> interesting right means you can send type osi you can send type ip also you can send type ipv6 also or you can send all of them in the one letter it just your letter is going to be a little bit bigger right this is the beauty of tlvs it means that in the same protocol you can send routes of osi you can send the route of ip you can send the route of ipv6 and this protocol is known as integrated ip isis protocol the protocol name is integrated isis which can support osi as well as ip in the same isis message i can send the osi routes i can send the ip routes but for this ip route the tlv is going to be different type is going to be different because this is for ip for osi the type is going to be osi as simple as that although there are numbers corresponding to this now i think i have already explained this thing to you guys it means that if i enable isis here if i enable isis here there is no worry we have with respect to these addresses because these addresses are not coming into picture if i want to send a message of isis right how it is going to be proceed this message i am going to write now we want to send the ipv4 address so the type is going to be ipv4 right what should be the length length is going to be it is going to say that the four byte for ip address and one byte for mask then five byte is the length and what is the value value is going to be 1.1.1.0/24 now in this letter i am going to send this route and what routing protocols are doing routing protocols are just exchanging the route from here to here it means that when this letter reaches here it is going to open it and it is going to say aha i am getting ipv4 routes i got to know from the type value and how you are going to forward this value it is going to be encapsulated into what ethernet ethernet source is going to be aaa right and ethernet destination is going to be isis multicast address because whenever you enable isis on any router it is going to start listening on a special multicast address which is which is uh, specified for isis we are calling isis mac i can show you on the wireshark messages 
as simple as that right so it is really easy it means that because of these type length value and that is why i'm saying the osi guys were futuristic he de they developed one protocol and now see this protocol is can carry the data or it can carry the routes of osi it can carry the route of tcp ip means ip as simple as that that is very very interesting right so somebody in hindi's class asked me this question that uh, what do you think and may maybe if you have any doubt any question please please do ask they are saying that where this isis was implemented in osi so this was implemented basically not on the network layer right this was implemented somewhere here just adjacent to data link layer right so that whatever the message is created by isis it can be encapsulated here and similarly in tcp ip it is not on network layer just like ospf like the, just like if it is just basically adjacent to data link layer it can work on top of data link layer right and that is why it doesn't need any layer 3 protocol to move its messages but if we talk about ospf ospf need ip to forward these messages as simple as that right guys if you have any doubt any question please do let me know right because here actually without means i have explained type length well.